Hello, my name is Bernard Murphy. I work for MEI, and I'd like to spend this two or three minutes talking about how I'd use pictures in the teaching of A-level trigonometry, and one, one picture in particular. So here you see a unit circle, radius OA, BC is a tangent at A, and COB is a right angle triangle. And if you chase the angles and work out the line segments, good exercise for students, then this is what you find. It's very pleasing that all six trig ratios are there in that one diagram. But there's a lot more to this diagram than just um, that, that, those, those six trig ratios, that, that one picture. First of all, imagine that theta increases from 0 to 90 degrees. So A moves around this unit circle. As it does so, those six lengths all change. And so you can get a picture of what the graphs of the, the, the six trig functions look like, admittedly only between 0 to 90 degrees from this. And that, of course, is an excellent use of dynamic imagery, um, showing those graphs emerge as, as A moves around the unit circle. Now, in addition to that, uh, you will see there that there are five right angle triangles, and each one produces an identity. So using Pythagoras' theorem on triangle ADB, you get that identity. And there are four more from the other right angle triangles. As well as right angle triangles, we've got lots of similar triangles. Um, all of them happen to be right angle, I think. But there's another identity from uh, the similar triangles COB and ADB. And of course, there's more of those. And in addition to that, you could think about the areas of triangles. In fact, if you think of the area of the biggest triangle, half base times height could be um, half sec theta times cosec theta, but equally it could be the other expression if your base is viewed as being BC. So all that from one picture. And there are lots of other pictures that you could use as well. I'm not going to go into them in any detail, but if you chase the angles there and find the length of the line segments, you'll find there's all sorts of identi identities that come out of those two. Using the circle theorems, you know the angle POQ is 2 theta, and so you know PQ is sine 2 theta. But if you ignore the 2 theta, the angle POQ, and try to find PQ in another way, you'll get one of the double angle formulae. And similarly for OQ, you get double angle formulae for cos 2 theta. Or you might prefer to get your double angle formulae from these two triangles. It's the same triangle, but looked at in two different ways. And all sorts of things emerge from that. Or the compound angle formulae. And they drop out from rearranging those two different kinds of right angle triangles within that rectangle. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Of course, there's lots more pictures, and quite a few of them are in these wonderful books by Roger Nelson which I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.